Hey folks, and welcome back to another Division 2 video. In this one, I'm going to go over five of the best websites out there that can help you out when you're playing Tom Clancy's The Division 2. Let's jump into it. I'm seeing in the comments of some of my videos that there's still a lot of new players coming to the game, so I thought I'd gather a few useful sites you may not have come across before. So in this video, I'm going to go over five sites that I've used a ton that'll help you out while you're playing Tom Clancy's The Division 2, as well as some of the features you can expect from them. Starting with number one, the interactive map on Genie.io. This website is beyond useful with both full maps from The Division 2, Washington DC and Lower Manhattan from the Warlords of New York expansion, both populated with everything you could possibly want plus the ability to filter whatever you're looking for. This can help you out massively if you're looking to find collectibles, faction caches, secret missions, named enemies, hunter locations, and even the few easter eggs scattered around the maps. When you're on the site, clicking on any of these points will give you more details about whatever it is you've clicked on to give you more information and help you find it in the open world. You can also create an account this will let you track things in the top right, like collectibles, showing how many you've found against how many you have left to find. If you do have an account, you can show that you found something by simply right-clicking it. These maps are a fantastic resource, and there's also a mobile version, so you can have it open on your mobile or tablet while you're playing. Next, at number two, we have the Weekly Vendor Reset by Ruben. This site has been around since The Division 1 and was always a great one to check out for weekly vendor resets, but now it's a must check for the weekly vendors in Tom Clancy's The Division 2. You simply open the site, have a scroll through and see if there's anything worth making the trip for without the need from jumping from vendor to vendor. You'll be able to see everything from the item's name, whether it's gear or a weapon, attributes, talents, and where exactly you can find it. It also gets updated with the Gunrunner's inventory as she moves around the map. If you scroll right to the bottom of the site, you can also find a map of all of the locations where you can find the Snitch, if you do want to find the Gunrunner. Super useful site for anyone looking for any particular gear, weapon, or mods. I definitely recommend adding this one to your bookmarks or favoriting it. Number three is the official Division 2 server status site. This is exactly what it sounds like. This site will give you an idea of what's going on with the active servers for the Division 2, and if there's currently any issues and on what platform. It refreshes every 60 seconds and will give you an idea if there's any kind of maintenance, problems, or outages on the servers in different regions. So having this one in your bookmarks means if you're ever having problems logging into the game, you can quickly check, see if it's a problem with the Division 2 servers or possibly something at your end. Number four is for players who love to theory craft builds and that's the Division 2 builds tool. This site gives you an easy to use and understand but in-depth interface that lets you assemble a build including your SHD watch level, specialization, gear and weapons. And at the bottom of the page, it even gives you a visualization of the build's damage per second, which is a great way to compare your various builds. When you put a build together, you can either screenshot the page or click save and share. The website doesn't have a login system, but it will give you instructions on how you can bookmark and save your builds. It's very easy to use and a must bookmark page for anyone who likes to put together builds or just theorycraft in their free time. And finally, at number five, if you're a fan of infographs, visual pages that you can save, bookmark, or print that have information about gear, brands, exotics, and other things, make sure to check out Cooks's Flickr account. Some of you may have seen Cooks's infographs floating around Twitter or other social media, but on a Flickr account, you can find her infographs with full information on Division 2 gear, brands, gear sets, named weapons, exotics, Plus, if you're looking for a new Division background for your PC, she also uploads the background designs for each infograph separately to be used as desktop or other wallpapers. Definitely a page worth saving whether you have a Flickr account or not, and keep an eye out for more infographs in the future. 
Well, that's everything for this video. I hope you find these sites useful. Every website I mentioned in this video, you'll find in the description below. And on each site, you'll also find full credits for the creators who've created some great and useful sites for the Division community. So a big thank you to them. With those, you'll also find links to my Twitter and a bunch of other Division 2 videos. Plus, if you spend much time on Twitch, I'm one half of a streaming duo where we play Division 2 plus a load of other games every Monday, Wednesday and Saturday at 10pm UK time. You can find that link also in the description below. If you enjoyed this one, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Division 2 and Looter Shooter content. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.